Hello and welcome. Maria here from Little Needs. And today I want to show you how to work this little bonnet. Is a um, lace pattern, an easy lace pattern. And for this bonnet and this pattern, I'm using this beautiful yarn from uh, Gallery Yarns. This is Belangor. The color I'm using today is this one, beige. This um, lace pattern is multiple of 10 plus one stitch and six rows, uh, six rows repeat. I'm using needles four millimeters or US um, six. And for this bonnet, you need to cast on, long tail cast on, 51 stitches. I already have 50 here. I need one more. And now, I can start to work this bonnet. The first row is the wrong side. And this is, uh, this is a pearl row. So row one, we pearl. I will pearl together with this little tail for a couple of stitches. Okay. So on row one, pearl every stitch. Row two, and from row two, we start to work in a lace pattern. Row two, we slip the first stitch as if we knit. <coughs> then, <coughs> sorry, we knit the next two stitches. SSK, slip, slip, and knit together through the back loop. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit two stitches. Now, knit three, one, two, three, SSK, Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit two stitches. Again, knit three, one, two, three. SSK, slip slip and knit together these two stitches through the back loop yarn over knit one yarn over knit two stitches together then knit two stitches again knit three SSK, slip, slip, and knit together through the back loop, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit two stitches. And my last repeat, knit three, one, two, three. SSK, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and 
think knit the last three stitches. This was row two. Row three, we slip the first stitch and we purl the rest of the stitches on this row three. Row four, slip the first stitch, knit the next stitch, SSK, slip, slip, and knit together through the back loop, yarn over, knit three stitches, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit one stitch. Next, knit two stitches, SSK, slip, slip, and knit together through the back loop, yarn over, knit three stitches, Yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit one stitch. This is how we work on row four. Again, knit two stitches, SSK, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two stitches together, knit one, one more time, knit two stitches, SSK, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, and knit one stitch. And the last repetition, knit two stitches, SSK, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two stitches together, knit one, and knit the last stitch. So you end here on row four, you end with knit two stitches. Row five, slip the first stitch and purl the rest of the stitches on row five. Now we can start to work a row six. On row six, we start with slip the first stitch. And the repetition for this row is this one. SSK, slip, slip, and knit together through the back loop. Yarn over, knit five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, yarn over and knit two stitches together. Next, knit one stitch, SSK, yarn over, knit five, Okay, yarn over again and knit two stitches together. Knit one, SSK, slip, slip, knit together through the back loop, yarn over, knit five, knit one, 
yarn over, knit two stitches together. Knit one, SSK, yarn over, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, knit two stitches together. And the last repetition, knit one, SSK, slip, slip, and knit together through the back loop, yarn over, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, knit two stitches together, and knit the last stitch. This was row six. So my stopper just fall out. Okay, row seven is a purl row. We slip the first stitch and then we knit the rest of the stitches on this row. With row seven, my first lace uh, motif is ready. I divide the stitches onto my uh, uh, both double pointed needles so you can see how your work should look so far. So we have uh, five motifs here. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Next, you need to work from row two until row seven two more times. So, two more repetitions of this pattern and these six rows. I done one repetition. I need to work two more. You can see them here. So, this V is one repetition. This one is the first motif. This one is the second. And this one here is the third. One, two, three. Three. So we need to work two more uh, repetition of row two until row seven. And I will come back and um, show you how we work next. I've done my other two repeat of the pattern. Now we need to work five rows in stockinette stitch. On the um, right side we will knit, on the back side or wrong side we will purl. So four rows in stockinette stitch. We slip the first, then we knit all the stitches on this row. After these four rows in stockinette stitch, we will start to decrease this bonnet. So four rows in stockinette stitch, row one knit, row 2 purl, row 3 knit and row 4 purl. I will come back for the decrease part. I've done my 4 rows in stockinette stitch. My work measures 10 centimeters, almost 4 inches. Next, we start to decrease 
For the decrease part, we will change the needles. We will work with double pointed needles. You need four double pointed needles, same number, uh, four millimeters or US uh, six. And let's start the decrease part. Row one. We start by knitting six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then knit two stitches together. Again, knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And knit two stitches together. These are the stitches for the first double pointed needle. I will take one, another one, and I will work the same. Knit six stitches, two, three, four, five, six. Knit two stitches together. Knit six stitches. Then knit two stitches together. This is my second double pointed needle. My third, we work the same. Knit six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then knit two stitches together. And the last repeat, knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six, knit two stitches together. You will end with knit three. On every row where we need to decrease, we will end with knit three. And these last three stitches, we will decrease them on the last row. Now we need to join in round and start to work row two of our decrease. On row two, we will knit all the stitches. Row three. We start the row three with knit five. One, two, three, four, five. And then knit two stitches together. So this is the sequence for row three. Knit five. Knit two stitches together. You will end this row with knit three. Then on row four, we only knit every stitch and I will, I will come back for row five. Row five, we start row five by knitting four stitches. Then knit two stitches together. So knit four, knit two stitches together. This is the repeat for row five. You will end with knit three and on row six, you will knit all the stitches. I will come back for row seven. Row seven, we start row seven with knit three. Next, we knit two stitches together. So this is the sequence for row seven. Knit three, one, two, three. Knit two stitches together. You will end the row with knit three. And on row eight, you knit all the stitches. Row nine. 
On row 9, we start with knit 2 stitches, then knit 2 stitches together. So this is the sequence for row 9. Knit 2, knit 2 stitches together, knit 2, knit 2 stitches together, knit 2, knit 2 stitches together my last double pointed needle knit two knit two stitches together knit two knit two stitches together and knit the last three stitches this was row nine row uh, row ten and the last row of our decrease bar we knit one stitch knit two stitches together knit one knit two stitches together knit one knit two stitches together knit one knit two together and the last double pointed needle knit one knit two together knit one knit two together i reached my last three stitches i need one then i need two stitches together so this was the decrease part now we need to cut the yarn leaving a short tail because now we will close the stitches close the bonnet by waving the yarn through all the stitches so we pick up the stitches from the double pointed needles and then we pull the yarn through the stitches like this you will end with 14 stitches now we wave the yarn again through the stitches pull gently because this yarn it breaks um, easily this was the first thing i discovered when uh, knitting this yarn for the first time okay now insert the yarn needle turn the work on the back side make one knot wave again the yarn through the stitches this time i will make a double knot just to be sure that my yarn is secured and my bonnet won't undone wave it again the yarn through the stitches one more time and now i can cut the yarn and the last part are the ties so this is the yarn that i have from the skin of belangor let's see if i can make a tie and for the second tie i will need more yarn from another skin of Belangor yarn. So this is my first tie, fringe tie. I have two or uh, three, what they called strips. I fold it. 
and I will attach in the first corner with the help of a crochet hook. Okay, this is what I have left from my first skin of yarn. And now my second tie and then we will see how the bonnet look on my mannequin head. There is a difference between this one and this one. For this one I cast it on 53 stitches and for this one I cast it uh, on 51 stitches. Because this pattern is open work and this yarn is very stretchy, I decided that 51 stitches for this pattern is enough. So we attach in the second corner our second tie, pull the yarn through. Let's see if they are they have the same length. If not, we will cut here. So this is the bonnet. I guess I need to find a name for it. And let's see. I decided to leave this brim edge as it is. I didn't want to add uh, chain stitches or slip stitches or nothing. Okay. So this is how the bonnet. Let me show you. This is how it look on my mannequin head. I hope you will enjoy knitting your own very easy lace pattern Angora bonnet. I want to thank you for watching. I want to also welcome my new subscribers. Thank you very much. In me, it means a lot for me to see that people um, are discover discovering my channel. So this is um, um, a very happy situation for me. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care of you and happy knitting. Bye-bye.